Hi Virgo, this is Rose Burnett from Mind, Body, Soul, Balance and this is your monthly tarot reading for June 2018. It is a general reading, so take from it what you will, trust your own inner guidance and uh, wisdom in terms of receiving the messages and uh, take what resonates, leave the rest. If you'd like a personal reading with me, attune to your own energy and circumstances to get to ask the question that uh, are so dear to your heart, yeah? Uh, I'll pop the link on this video and in the description box below. You can also win a personal reading with me if you want to go into the monthly draw. Uh, you'll need to head over to my website, opt into my blog, which is free, yeah? And uh, you go into the uh, into the draw to uh, win a 30-minute personal reading with me. All right, let's get started. So first up, I'm actually going to be doing love and romance for a change, yeah? Uh, I'm going to start with the... Uh, Pulling you some guidance from the Heart and Soul Energy Deck by Tony Carmine Salerno. And let's see what you need to know, Virgo, in June. What is it that Virgo needs to know? Here we go. Wow. This is so gorgeous, if you can see that. Uh, and what it says, Virgo, is... You are an ocean of light unfolding through the infinite space of life. Through the space between each thought, you can see your true immortal nature. The oneness of spirit that dreamt itself into the many is a part of you. Like a whirlwind from heaven, it appears and reappears in endless form. Beautiful. All right, let's have a look at Love and Romance from the uh, Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Let's see what you need to know, Virgo. Ah. Virgo, there will be passion, yeah? Um, you're looking for love if you're already in a relationship uh, it's about allowing that passion in yeah uh, bringing more joy fun adventure into your life but uh, sharing that passion with uh, someone special uh, always be discerning who you share your love with make sure they're worth it <laughs> this one's so wanted to jump out then oh yeah gorgeous followed up by you deserve love yeah you are lovable so if you're not feeling lovable you need to basically pep up your self-love, your self-worth um, by doing some activities that nurture yourself and um, appreciate yourself, yeah? Um, but just know that you're lovable. Even if you've gone through some uh, tough times in terms of love, you deserve a great love relationship. So cool. All right. Mm. It's come up for about two other signs. You are calling in your soulmate. For those of you that uh, want a great love relationship, your prayers, your affirmations have been heard. It is drawing the two of you together, yeah? Um, have faith, have trust. Best time to manifest is either on a new moon or a full moon, yeah? Put those intentions out there to the universe of what you want to draw to you in terms of a love partner and love relationship. Mm. And clearly decide, you've got the very soon card, clearly decide what it is that you want so that it can come to you now. Um, this applies in terms of thinking really clearly about what it is that you want in a love partner, love relationship. But also, if you're out there dating and you've got a couple on the go, or you've got one in particular, um, clearly decide what it is that you want to do with that. Either feed in or feed out, yeah? Commit. We'll move on it's the message coming through and find allow that soulmate partnership in if you're just not into them or they're not into you right. and the other message you've got is let your friends help you uh, this is in terms of not only love and support from your friends in terms of your community uh, you can vent to them about your love life if you like. Get them to help you. They might have a cutie to introduce you to. You might want to go out with a few of you and put yourself into a situation where you wouldn't normally go to meet new people. Yeah. You don't have to do it alone. All right. I'm going to pull you some guidance from the uh, Nature's Whispers deck. And I was just drawn to this deck today. I thought it's got such a gentle energy. Yeah. Well, let's see what you need to know, Virgo. Oh, it's 
holding on to the message. Not a clear message, please. Oh, there we go. Mm. What you've, what you've pulled is be your best, if you can see that, I'll bring it a bit closer. Be your best self always. So this is about following your own goals and dreams, but standing in your own values, yeah? Um, following your own values, living by them, not allowing others to guide your life by their values, yeah? It's about showing up in the best way possible, showing up in a positive mindset, being loving towards others, compassionate, understanding. Just being yourself, yeah? Being yourself. It's beautiful. No matter what's going on around you, it's about being your best self. Let's pull you one more. What does Virgo need to know? This deck, so I want to hold on to your answers. Come on. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This is so gorgeous. Let me hold it up for you. You can see that. It's so beautiful. It's keep your dreams alive. Yeah. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't let other people squash them. Um, the only one that can follow your dreams is you. So it's about having the courage to do that. Gorgeous. All right, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the uh, Goddess Guidance deck. Let's see what you need to know, Virgo, in June. We have two that want to come out for you straight away. Mm. Got Irene, peace. So this is all about, if you've been worrying, stop worrying. Everything's going to work out fine, yeah. You are going to have more peace, more emotional peace um, coming to you. Trust in divine timing. Mm. Under you deserve love. You've pulled Coventina, purification, yeah. Um, it can mean detoxing your body, but it's also purifying your thoughts, your mindset, your emotions. Um, I think the fact that it's sitting under you are lovable is about cleaning up your emotions and your thoughts about the past, yeah. And just building yourself up in terms of your self-love. only calling in your soulmate when you keep your dreams alive you've got prosperity coming abundiata the universe is trying to pour abundance onto you yeah be open to receiving it um, you've also got to clearly put out there your intent to manifest whatever it is you want to manifest yeah positively oh yeah and you pulled una easy does it so this is about, there's no need to rush or worry about things. Things are happening in divine timing, yeah? Exactly when they're meant to happen, they'll happen. It's sitting under very soon as well, which is kind of hilarious in terms of romance. Slowly deciding what it is that you want. But yeah. Mm, wow. You've not only got a Bundiana prosperity, you've got Yamana, golden opportunities coming your way. This is in terms of your life path, life purpose, but I'm also going to say to you it's in terms of romance as well, yeah? Um, yeah. If you let your friends help you, sitting above it, in terms of love. Okay, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Crystal Reading Deck. Crystal Reading Deck is one of my favourites. It's actually a healing crystal deck, so it will let us know anything you need to let go of. Yeah, or do. If you want to find peace and passion as well, you pull bogey stones. It's all about balance. You need to balance your masculine and your feminine energies, your emotions and your, your rational side brain thinking. Yeah? Stand in the middle where you actually, um, it's a place called why. Mm -hmm. Where you aren't too much in your emotions or your rational. Yeah. Um, you will find inner peace that way. It's also about balancing your... Uh, Physical needs in terms of taking care of your well-being, your health and well-being, exercise, nutrition. Mm -hmm. All right, what else do you need to know, Vigo? Two want to come out for you straight away. Mm. 
when it comes to love, be flexible. Yeah, be open to uh, possibly different people, but don't try and control everything. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Mm. You pull deep side, Mother Earth. Um, it means you have a deep connection to Mother Earth, protector of animals. Um, you find peace and tranquility out in uh, nature. Allows you to let go of anxiety. Great place for you to be this month. Uh, if you can, get out there. That's where you're going to balance and ground yourself. Mm. Also, meditation is going to help you. So in terms of any worry, anxiety coming up this month, the uh, your way of dealing with that is quiet time, meditation, out in nature and balance yourself, yeah? And it's just going to allow you to have the energy you need to have to take on all this great stuff coming your way. Mm. You come out for a few signs. Uh, Shituki, if I said that correctly. Um, it's a t it says teacher, but it's actually about trusting, coming to a place of great inner wisdom, uh, knowing yourself really well, trusting your own inner guidance, your gut feelings, in terms of love and romance, in terms of your life path, life purpose, any decisions you need to make. It's sitting under golden opportunities. So if you've got new contract opportunities coming in, trust your inner wisdom as to whether or not you want to accept those. All right, I'm going to pull you some specific guidance from the... Uh, Energy Oracle deck. What is it that Virgo needs to know? Mm. Okay. Under passion, you pull woman holding a heart. So, for girls, allow yourself to feel that passion. Yeah, open your heart up to love. But guys, when you do open up, show that passionate side of yourself. You've got this great love coming in. You have, if you want it. If you want it. Not going to happen by itself. Just saying. Got to make a bit of effort. Oh yeah. Okay. Under you deserve love. Also purification around your um, not only your body but your thoughts. Um, being flexible. You got the walking away card. This is just a heads up. It's not going to apply to everybody. Yeah. There are situations, people, places, circumstances, experiences that you need to let go of and walk away from it. Just do it um, in terms of it's going to help you find inner peace. Um, it's about cutting negative energetic cords that are attached to you from old past experiences or conflict in your life. I don't see any conflict card here. Um, but the fact that you've got walking away... You might need to walk away from old relationships to let in a beautiful love relationship, yeah, because you deserve love if something's not working for you. Only you know that. Uh, you've also pulled your fifth chakra, which is Archangel Gabriel. Speak your truths. Speak from your heart space. When you do that, people listen, yeah. Mm. All right, what else do you need to know, Virgo? Mm. Know that you're on a journey. You're on a journey. It's going to take a little while in terms of love to get to where you want to be. In terms of your abundance, you are also on a journey, yeah, an exciting journey. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to pull you one more. Oh, yeah. You're also on a journey to uh, personal healing and happiness. Take that time for self. Build yourself up, build up your self-worth, your self-love, your confidence, go after your dreams, keep your dreams alive. Love yourself, yeah. Trust your inner wisdom. Sitting right under the teacher card, your inner wisdom. All right, I'm going to pull you a crowning energy from the Kunyin Oracle deck. Uh, let's see what you need to know, Virgo. Mm. I love that your cards are coming out so decisively. It's amazing. It's awesome. All right. You pulled the bamboo moon, and these are so beautiful. It's actually number one, by the way. All right, I'll show it to you one more time. So beautiful. 
And what it says, Virgo, is, did you know there are no mistakes in the universe and all events, circumstances, relationships and situations are unfolding in perfection with the timing and intelligence of the divine plan? Any apparent delay is in your favour. If something is happening for you right now, then that is perfect too. Divine timing is perfection. You've also got the card for divine timing. It is safe to trust this now. You might be wondering if anything is ever going to come together for you or if it's happening quickly now, even if you're ready for it. And the answer is yes. Divine timing is always at play, whether we are letting go or trying to force something. An intelligent power that is vaster than our comparatively limited vision is always in flow and we are part of that. We can find so much peace and joy when we realise this and learn to trust and relax in the unfolding of our divine destiny. Hilarious, you pulled the peace card as well. Chinese bamboo helps us to learn the wisdom of divine timing. For about five years of its early life, not much appears to be going on. And as the small roots attempt to ground themselves, Yet when they are ready, those roots are exceptionally strong and the plant suddenly grows like wildfire. There is so much going on in preparation for powerful growth than what appeared to be at the humble beginnings of the bamboo plant. So it can be with divine timing. There are periods when not much appears to be going on at all. And we begin to expect that this will always be the case. Yet this inner preparation time allows for swift development and growth when we are ready. When the time for patient and thorough preparation is over, our growth can happen quickly and we might be concerned that it is all too fast and we cannot keep up with it. But of course we shall keep up with it because the preparation has allowed us to develop a good foundation of spiritual strength. Just like the cycles of the moon, the shift from hidden light to full splendour of solar reflection, only to shift again, your unfoldment is just a matter of timing. You are being encouraged to trust in divine timing and know that all is well in your world. Rejoice, your dreams and divine destiny are manifesting right now, whether it is obvious or not. And all will continue to unfold according to your highest good. Be at peace, beloved. You are not forgotten, nor are your gifts being over or underestimated. All is well in the divine plan unfolding of which you are a part. Beautiful. There's actually a little healing exercise. It's quite short. Let's do it, yeah? And it says, Imagine you are sitting amongst a lush green forest of bamboo, abundant, cool and serene. Overhead the moon rises and you notice that it has grown full. Soft light, serenity and peace abounds and you become aware of the vast fields of bamboo golden in the moonlight. The bamboo moves peacefully with the breeze. Feel the peace and recognition in your heart. You don't need to do anything other than feel it. You belong to nature. You shall flourish. Just feel it. Beautiful. And there's an affirmation to finish off your reading and what it says is, Kun Yin, you surrender into the perfection of divine timing, like the bamboo shoots preparing for fast growth and the beautiful moon growing full. Sometimes change is not so obvious and yet growth is happening. Please help me realise this in accordance with perfect timing in my own life and all of my plans, projects and desires now. Fill my heart with your love and peace, beloved goddess. Let the wisdom of the bamboo moon penetrate my soul on that ink pad um, beautiful just gonna hold something up for you which is overarching through that whole message right was peace and una easy does it yeah divine timing all right if you like this reading please like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel if you've already subscribed you're rocking awesome i do read all the comments i do respond one disclaimer though if you're going to be negative i just don't engage in it right because i surround myself with positive people it's how i keep my vibration high and when you do that on this channel you affect everybody else's vibration so just don't do it yeah take your little negative butt outside go and balance and ground yourself take responsibility for self and how you're showing up 
and then come back and hear the message again, yeah? That's my guidance, yep. And if you don't know, I'm also a transformational coach, so I'm not going to baby you, yeah? And for all of those of you out there that are positive, keep going, yeah? Keep going. All right. So uh, don't forget, if you want a personal reading with me, link is on this video and below. You know what to do. And if you want to win a personal reading with me, pop over to my blog, opt into it. Um, it's free. And uh, you go into the, into the monthly draw to uh, win a 30-minute reading with me. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.